assalamu alaikum today's topic of discussion is chronic inflammation in the last section we have discussed about the acute inflammation first of all what is chronic inflammation inflammation of prolonged duration weeks or months in which active inflammation number 1 tissue destruction number 2 and number 3 healing proceed simultaneously means at the same time what are the different causes number 1 persistent infection by certain organisms that is treponema pallidum prolonged exposure to toxic agents either exogenous or endogenous and autoimmunity there are three different types of chronic inflammation chronic suppurative inflammation that is pyogenic abscess for example chronic non suppurative inflammation for example chronic bronchitis and most important type is granulomatous inflammation that is tuberculosis leprosy and actinomycosis actinomycosis granulomatous inflammation is the most important type we will discuss in detail in the next practical what are the difference between acute and chronic inflammation in acute inflammation onset is fast minutes to hours in chronic it's slow in days cellular infiltrate main cells are neutrophil in case of acute inflammation and macrophages and lymphocytes in chronic inflammation tissue injury is usually mild and self limited in acute and severe and more progressive in case of chronic inflammation and local and systemic signs are more prominent in acute phase and less prominent in chronic inflammation now chronic cholecystitis inflammation of the gall bladder basically it has many causes main causes the gall stones in gall bladder may cause inflammation they can be in cystic duct or gall bladder and it can block the common bile duct as you can see acute cholecystitis in most cases is due to the gall stone dislodge and major symptom is pain that is colicky abdominal pain on gross colic cholecystitis gall bladder is generally contracted normally and the wall is thickened if you see the normal gall bladder it's paper like thin but in case of cholecystitis that is inflammation its mucosa is thickened and cut section of gall bladder is gray white due to dense fibrosis and mucosal folds may be thickened atrophied or flattened here in the picture you can see uh, there is a stone cholesterol gall stone and the wall is thickened it's not paper like thin it's thickened it means there is inflammation in the gall bladder if you talk about the lumen it commonly contain gall stones mostly multiple and two main types of the gall stones are there that is cholesterol stones and the pigment stones and the most common are the cholesterol stones and here you can see a cholesterol stone in the center of the specimen chronic cholecystitis microscopic features as we mentioned this is a chronic inflammation and there will be major cells of the chronic inflammation that is macrophages and lymphocyte there is penetration of mucosa deep into the wall of the gall bladder up to the muscularis layer to form a rokitansky ashkov sinus and there is variable degree of chronic inflammatory cells that is lymphocytes plasma cells and macrophages and variable degree of fibrosis and thickening of perimuscular layer this is the normal mucosa that is smooth and flattened and in the other picture there is constant trigger of inflammation and there is a pocket formation that is ashkov sinus this is the picture which you have to draw in your practical copies as you can see there is lymphocytic infiltration and ashkov sinus formation now moving forward to the clinical manifestations the physical examination may reveal fever tachycardia and tenderness in the right upper quadrant or the epigastrium 
The main symptom is the pain in the upper right side or upper middle of the abdomen and there may be recurrent attacks of colicky abdominal pain. Pain may be sharp, cramping and steady and it can radiate to the back or below the right shoulder blade. Other symptoms include clay colored stools, nausea, vomiting, fever and yellow discoloration of the skin that is in jaundice. In lab diagnosis, cholecystitis is diagnosed by the doctor mainly by the symptoms, uh, and majorly the pain and the results of imaging tests. Ultrasonography is the best way to determine gallstones in the gallbladder or the thickening of its walls. Thank you so much.